<laughs> no pain, no gain. Take three couples who love to entertain. Lovely. Lovely. Ask each pair to throw a dinner party. One, two, three, go! <laughs> Which will be scored in secret. Bonte. Today, a couple of jokers. And how long have you two been together? Uh, we're nearly, well, just under four just under years. So. so it's neck and neck, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> we're going to get the couples to break up one by one. <laughs> then there's only one couple left. And we so. divide and rule, it's called. <laughs> and a photo faux pas. One of our favourite things is to take a picture of a poo. Not something I'd photograph. I can't work the camera on my phone anyway. As each couple competes for a £1,000 cash prize. To be attached for five hours doing that, I'd knock him out, so... <laughs> Good on not even lying. No, I'm not. <laughs> Today on Couples Come Dine With Me, we're in London, voted the most romantic city in Europe, thanks to the history, the sights, the butchers. And our first hosts, Roland and Anne, have been meeting the meaty needs of South West Londoners <laughs> for years. When we've done this, we'll put the kettle on and have a nice cup of tea. <laughs> We've been married for 41, 41 years. years, yeah. And every day has been an experience, hasn't it, Petal? Yes. You can say <laughs> that. <laughs> you look very familiar. I have been mistaken for three or four famous people. Postman Pat. Mostly Richard Gere. Well, now you say it. As soon as I open my mouth, I ain't Richard Gere, no, am I? Definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't got his money either, which would be nice. <laughs> But what Roland lacks in money, he makes up for with experience. We can do this easy. We're mature people, aren't we? Yeah. We're old enough to beat anyone. It's an electric <laughs> oven, so we can't gas ourselves. <laughs> Safety first. Roland and Anne start off with their main lamb noisettes with roast vegetables. It's school dinners, isn't it? You know, it's school dinners, Is I reckon. It? Yeah, I think so. What school did you go to? Yeah, I'm a better one than you. <laughs> Today's second couple are costume-loving Tony and his Aussie partner in crime, Rebecca. We met at my rugby club. We had a, it's a dress party. We have a fun outlook on life. We don't take things too seriously. Really? Would never have guessed. Tony's a nutcase. It's <laughs> pretty <laughs> obvious. <laughs> You don't get invited to a lot of dinner parties either. You never get invited to somewhere twice. Certainly not twice, anyway. Can't think why. Back to our first couple. While Anne makes a marinade, Butcher Roland prepares his meat. Top London restaurant would charge 50, 60 quid for a meal containing these. They're lovely. Look at them petal, look. They look lovely, dear. Piece of cake. They coat the lamb and leave to chill until tonight. Lovely job. Good well job. Nice one, Petal. Bye. And it's on to the starter. Sweet potato and asparagus soup. Soup for star to me sounds a bit a bit lame, you know, for a dinner party. Lame or not, Anne begins the soup by heating stock and adding the veg. Step back, step back. There we go, Petal. Job yeah, done. Yeah, you muck up my hog. Come on, hurry up, put the lid on. Put a lid on it, Petal. I made some for Anne a few weeks ago when she wasn't feeling well. And you felt so much better when I did oh, it, didn't you? yes, dear. Well, that's just lovely. Then simmered, they blend it together. They've just stuck the asparagus and sweet potato into yeah, in a, a blender. blender. Spot on! Oh, here it. we go. So... Judging. <laughs> Completing the group is actor Tom and entertainment manager girlfriend Penny. I think we actually do have everything. Yeah. If we don't, it's your fault because you made the list. Well, because I've done everything. I'm very, very organised and I like to plan. Organised fun. Organised fun, yeah. <laughs> Tom is the complete opposite of that. I'm so all over the place, so I need a bit of kind of penny to sometimes be like, pull your finger out and sort yourself out a little bit and do this. I'm sensing it's a bit more than that, isn't it, Penny? Mm. In the kitchen, it's the moment of truth. Mm. Mm. Lovely. 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 With the soup ready to be reheated later, there's just time for dessert. Good old apple and blueberry sponge with custard, of course. Ooh. Oh, sponge and custard. No thanks. That's quite an old yeah, style thing, isn't like it? Yeah, it's like a family hearty... Yeah. Passed down. English, yeah. Dessert, Homemade custard. I'd say, yeah. So, they've definitely done that before. It's never gone wrong once. So I don't understand if it goes wrong today. Yeah. Be bad luck. You're either. off. If this goes wrong, you're yeah. off, OK? You've been told! Anne begins by making her tried and tested sponge. This chefette is still going strong, so what's that? He's talking about the whisk, everyone. 40, 45 years old. Yeah. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Nearly yeah. as old as us, dear. Oh, good God, yes. 
There's life in that old whisk yet. Other whisks are, of course, available. It wouldn't surprise me if they were quite old. <laughs> Not old, old. but old. <laughs> You'll be old too one day. I'm sort of visualising a cottage, white window panes, checking tablecloths. <laughs> That's the interior designer in me, anyway. Uh... We're, not, we're not in Kansas, Toto. <laughs> <laughs> now you're in London and she's not a dog. <laughs> Back in the kitchen and the whisk is still going. Anne creams the eggs, butter and sugar, while Roland peels the bramblies. Apples added, and spoons the mix into a tin and gives it a final sprinkling of blueberries. This is the best tool you've got in the kitchen, isn't it? What, you? No, this. <laughs> Cheeky. I must have made about 100 of these cakes over the last 35 years, and this looks just as good as all the others. Lovely. 40 minutes, and that should be done. Cake baking, they'll make their custard tonight. The colour is perfect all the way across, isn't it? Oh, wow. Absolutely. Mm. Right, that's enough staring at an oven. Time to get into your glad rags. Let's get ready to go. Let's rock and roll, OK? Yep. First in, it's Penny and Tom. Tom at the door, Anne. It's starting. That's the idea. Hello. 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 Great. Oh, thank you. They're <laughs> lovely. How'd you get on? All right. Yeah. Penny and Tom. I can't shake hands with you because oh, I've got well. to each other. <laughs> My name's Roland. 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 Penny, nice Penny. to meet you. I'm Tom. Tom. Nice to nice meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you. We'll have a crack. Yeah. Yeah. Start yeah. to the next three days. Yeah. 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 Exactly. If we don't, yeah. everyone's out. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Charming. Next to the door, it's Tony and Rebecca. Oh, oh and this is second Ooh. couple. <laughs> well deduced. Hello. Hi. I'm Hi. Roland. How do you do? Hi. Uh, this is uh, this is Tom. Tom. Nice, right. to nice to meet Hello. you. Cheers. 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 Coming up. Opening up. I just find sometimes with wheat, it uh, doesn't agree with me. They're quite like our grandparents. They're going to find it really offensive that we just. I was. Like, I didn't grandparents. say grandparents. You said grandparents. <laughs> what have I heard of you? Yeah, good. Yeah, right. <laughs> and old jokes. Sorry, Thomas. I'm wondering whether the one-liners are going to carry on. Oh, I know. actually think they will. We're in south-west London, where Roland and Anne are hoping their 41 years of marriage has given them the experience they need to beat two rival couples to a £1,000 prize. <laughs> we're, just... we're going to make do some soup. If you want to come past us and, <laughs> and put the kettle on, be quiet. <laughs> OK, off you go, kettle. Yeah, come on, off your pop. <laughs> Thank you. All right, shoes off. Oh, yeah. That's better. I did like the old kick your, kick your shoes off. No, no, but I'm, I'm going it now, cos... <laughs> smell of vision <laughs> You really don't have to laugh at that. Upstairs, Penny and Tom are taking a trip down memory lane. <laughs> Is that not <laughs> hair. <laughs> How old do you think they are in that? Our age? It looks like he it's looks... A, a pub or a club or something, doesn't it? A couple of ravers. <laughs> <laughs> the soup's hot. Downstairs, the ravers are raving about their guests. They seem two very they nice They seem very nice. Couples. Very They're nice. nice. We think we're going to have fun with them. Yeah. I think what we do next, and we'll call in the street, because we've got enough for everybody no. here. See if Carol and Terry want any next door. I wouldn't bother. <laughs> Carol and Terry aren't scoring you. The starter is served. Asparagus and sweet potato soup with spelt croutons. This, wow. is, this is the start, wow. OK? Wow. <laughs> Please, tuck in. Thank you. Lovely. I'll watch the first person in our yeah. spoon to pick Go up. for the little round one. <laughs> the little round yeah. one. Now, now. So where's this recipe from? What was the, uh, what was the inspiration? Well, I think that's over to you. Yes, yeah. it's my recipe. Yeah? Anne wasn't feeling well once, and I thought, oh, I'll make her some soup. And it come up so, so nice. That we've, we've, we liked we, it, yeah, so, so we, we just it. we do it with sweet potato. Yeah. Yeah. We love sweet potato. Yeah, don't we? yeah, and yeah. basil because I don't. Yeah. I think. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, basil because it's a man's name. I really liked the soup. Mm. I actually really, really liked yeah. the soup. I really enjoyed it. I have to say, was it tinned asparagus? Yeah. At the end of the day, soup, soup. Oh, I think as a starter. Don't, yeah, don't serve soup if you're trying to impress. So the croutons, what? There was something... Yeah, they're made with spelt flour. The reason why we have it normally is because it's easier to digest. Yes. Oh, OK. Yeah. That answers your question, Tom. I just find sometimes with wheat, it doesn't agree with me, but mm. this bread I have no trouble with. 
Mm. Everyone can rest easy with that knowledge now. They're so lovely. They're very sweet. They're quite like our grandparents. They're going to find it really offensive that we just I said was, that they're like I didn't say grandparents. You said grandparents. <laughs> How long have you been together? 45 years. About there. Well. But we've been married for 41. Mm. Makes you jealous, doesn't it, being so young? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you two been together? Four long, hard, trying years. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what can I say to that? <laughs> that was so dramatic. And how long have you two been together? Uh, we're nearly, well, just under four just years. Just under four years. Oh, four yeah. years oh, this year, oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, so. so it's neck and neck, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> the race is on. Yeah. 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 It's just yeah. about first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, not sure that's what Roland meant. <laughs> this uh, competition, we're going to get the couples to break up one by one. <laughs> then there's only one couple left. And we so... divide and rule, it's called. <laughs> exactly. Let's move on to the main, shall we? Just got to take these elastic bands off, Petal, because someone's bound to go... Well, yeah, they don't really want that on their plate, no. do they? It's like taking stitches out in hospital, isn't it? Well, not really. How many stitches did you have? Ah, oh, I had a dozen. But... Thanks for sharing. And with the stitches removed, it's ready. Lamb noisettes. Uh... They're going to be struggling to this, and struggling to beat this. Oh, sorry, I should have done ladies first. I do apologise. Thank you. It's like a nice family sit down, you know. You imagine it's something they do every weekend like this, you know, but it's not got the wow factor. I, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. It's simple, but it's usually the simple things that, that work the best. Why are you looking at Tom? We've yeah, been talking about us all night. Yeah, we yeah. need to find out about you, yeah, guys. What, what do you do? I'm a. Uh... A comedian, but not in the kind of stand-up no. sense. I'm in a group, a bit like Monty Python. Why haven't I heard of you? Because you're no good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a bit rude. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Tom. <laughs> I'm wondering whether the one-liners are going to carry on. Oh, you know? I actually think they will. Yeah, probably. I've got a small hunch, too. It started as a thing between me and... because we trained as actors, and yeah. it was like a, <laughs> let's do this as a hobby to kind of keep us going, and then it just spiralled, <laughs> and that's our main... Work now. You mean you actually earn money doing it? Oh, well, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. I am available. <laughs> um, well, you've yeah. got comedy in common with uh, with Tom, don't you? I would say Penny. Well, I mean, <laughs> he comes out with a lot of jokes, yeah, a lot of one liners. I, I won't so... come out with as many as him. You should be a comedian. Don't encourage him. <laughs> well, you must have a few jokes up your sleeve. No, I don't do jokes. No, no. And? I hate jokes, yeah. but no. I don't do. I, just, so... I I laugh about situations. Yeah, it's a joke yeah. comedy. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, things happen and you laugh. And like, yeah. you, yeah. sort of telling stories about stuff that yeah. you've ha happened to you. I yeah. mean, that's so much funnier. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Are you getting the hint? You got any funny stories, Tony? If we do ever get married, yeah, it'd be a bit wacky. I was thinking like yeah. Las Vegas. I'm dressed up as Priscilla, and she's dressed up as Elvis. For example. <laughs> and they seem like they're really like. Over the top, and don't they just don't care? Do they? I don't think they're the type that care what people think. No, it would involve fancy dress, yeah. most yeah. definitely. Yeah. And yeah. every person in attendance will be in fancy dress. We yeah. won't recognise yeah. anyone. I wonder if we get an invite, what we dress as. Well, we could be Sonny and Cher, couldn't we? We could be. Yeah, because that is our era. It's like they're in the room. Come on, Sonny, let's dish out your dessert. Stick a bit of custard on that, would you, Cher? We've never poured custard on a bit of pie like this before in our lives. It's a big moment, I grant you. Well done. That's it. We've cracked it. And there you have it. Apple and blueberry sponge with custard. Oh, that's the second time you've done that. There's more custard if you want it. Oh, please, <laughs> go for it. Amazing. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Your turn. Let's ring the bells. Come on. <laughs> Tony! Don't break it! <laughs> <laughs> The cake is what Anne has been making I've for been making it years. years. About Absolutely. 35 years. Really? Really? Yeah. really? Yeah. I prefer yeah. fresh cake. Yeah, that's how it looks well for 25 <laughs> years. <laughs> yeah, it looks a bit naked. Actually, oh. that's mould on the top. Yeah, that's just mould. Yeah. <laughs> it's OK, they're blueberries, Penny. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it looking like it. Yeah. Oh yeah, go on, now uh, guess it. What's his, I don't know his name, but he's the dad in Meet the Parents. Ah! Yeah, Dustin Hoffman. Yeah, yes, yes, good one. Hoffman. I'd say there's a little bit of Richard Gere in there as well. Gear. A bit of Richard yeah. Gere. Yeah, yeah. yeah so many people have said that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's definitely. Richard Gere. Yeah. <laughs> it gets boring after It does again. I get cheesed <laughs> off of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he loves it, really. <laughs> Imagine how Richard Gere feels about it. Taxis!
The pudding wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. But it weren't as good as I thought it would be. I think I'd give ourselves about 17. Yeah. Out of 20. Yeah. Ah, ever the optimist. You reckon? Yeah. That would be eight from me yeah. and seven from you. Yeah. Well, that's 15 for a kickoff. No, that's, that's 15. 15. <laughs> I thought it was a really great night, so overall I'm giving them a seven. Uh, I enjoyed the evening, um, but I felt that parts of the meal were a little bit short for me, so I would give them a six overall. So, so all together it equals 13. We got there in the end. We entertained ourselves, so for that we'll give them a 14. 14. A ripper. So Roland and Anne have notched up 27 points, meaning... We're in the lead. Yeah, we're in the lead. <laughs> To be fair, we're walking it. We're walking it. Yeah. yeah. It's day two in South West London and time for Penny and Tom to host. But there's one person sticking in everyone's mind after last night. Everything anybody said, he had like a joke or something for. On a first night, great, laugh, ha ha ha, but I don't know, second or third night, that might kind of be. <sighs> yeah. Um, I'm planning on taking a bit more of a backseat tonight, I think. Couples. She doesn't believe you. <laughs> Tony, was he was very um, talkative. Yeah, he yeah. talks a lot. Can't get a word in edgewise. I definitely think there is a risk that the couples can have too much of us in one go. Too much of a good thing, you mean? And if Tony's saying that he's going to take a backseat tonight, don't believe anything that comes out of his mouth. You know when he's lying because his lips, lips are moving, uh, right? Look at my <laughs> line. <laughs> ah, nasty joke. Let's move on to the food, shall we? I think my strengths in the kitchen are my organisation, preparation. I make lists for everything. I write everything down. Weaknesses, yeah, probably Tom. Um, <laughs> I guess he'll just come in and mess it all up, I think. <laughs> Put that breadstick down, fella. First on the plan is the starter, a spring onion and avocado salad with bacon. That's all right, isn't it? Yeah, that's... See, so it's, it's light. The whole thing is light, light. isn't it? The whole yeah. thing is light. Yeah, it's going to be light. Light. Can you get the bacon fried crispy? Yeah, but I thought I was... No, because I'll just do the rest of it. It needs to be crispy, but when it comes out, it's not going to be... I don't want it to just snap into pieces, because we need to present it well. Got that, Tom! Yeah. You've got to wait to fry the bacon, because... The pan's not hot enough yet, and this is why I don't trust you to do things. Smooth start! She just looks like a very together sort of girl. Yeah. You know. She'd be organised. Yeah. I imagine Tom might be running around in circles. Ugh. Oh, pull yourself together, man! <laughs> no pain, no gain. Bacon's revenge. Revenge for what? Don't answer that. Penny adds red wine vinegar to mustard to complete her dressing. The avocado will be added when the guests arrive. And Tom saved his bacon as it's finally cooked. Next up, dessert. Chocolate and vanilla whoopie pie! Chocolate and vanilla whoopie pie! Not to be confused with a cushion. <laughs> that sounds fun. Where's the whoopie come from? Whoopie. Well, that is her. Yeah. 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 I'm worried about the dessert because I've done it once, maybe, in my life before, so I am nervous about that. Um, but as long as I go back to my lists and keep yep. checking, on, checking yep. on them, I'm sure it'll be OK. Can I have 150 grams of caster sugar, yes. please? Anything else? No, just that for now. 150. 150 grams of caster sugar. 150. Yeah. 150. What grams? What's that? Check the list! Check the list! Did you, what, uh, no, did you that's that? ounces. So I've got the ounces here. So we need five and a half ounces. That's too much. That's seven and a half. Finally, after it's expertly weighed, the sugar is creamed with eggs. Next, Penny adds yogurt to milk and vanilla essence and mixes together. Do I need to measure anything else out? Hope not. Yeah. So the next stuff down on the list. Oh, the list, of course. The list. Slow and steady wins the race. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going, fella. Oh, my God, Tom, you're right. Put more in and then it well, won't You want it precise, don't you? Right, that's fine. Oh, see? There we go. See, one bit and it's done. I stood there all day watching you pour that in. After adding cocoa and flour, the mixture's dolloped onto baking trays. So don't you start eating it. Well... We haven't even got enough of these yet. With the pies baking, Penny whips up the marshmallow topping. It'll be spread on the pies tonight. Last on the plan is the main, and like yesterday, it's lamb, but today it's slow-cooked with roast veg. 
if they can't, can't go, go wrong. wrong. <laughs> can't go wrong. Can't go wrong no. with that. No, can't you can't, can't go wrong. wrong. And we love root vegetables, yeah. don't we? Yeah. yeah, definitely. We may start sort of bang by the end of <laughs> by the end of the whole competition. Sort of like the batter. <laughs> Brilliant. Smells nice. Together, Penny and Tom make a paste for the meat, preparing thyme and parsley. I'm OK with Tom doing this at the moment, once again, because no-one's going to see it. Well, if I can't pull leaves from some stalks, then <laughs> I'm basically not evolved. After Penny adds garlic to the herbs, it's ready to shake. You can do it for a while. Hold it together, though. Don't hold it separately. You're looking very pleased with yourself. Well done, you! Yeah, but this is what it looks like. Is that it? Penny rubs the mixture onto the meat, which will be roasted on a bed of meticulously laid out root veg. I think we're there. Well done. Good work. Good team. work. Well, well, you, mainly. Well done. Exactly. With the meat cooking, the prep is complete. Okay, so that's all the cooking done. Um, next thing on the list. Needs to get changed. Does it tell you what to wear as well? Oh. Man up, Tom. Outfits on, it's time to see if the planning has paid off. Oh. First to arrive, it's Richard Gere. Oh, no, it's not, it's Roland and Nan. Good luck. Good luck. Oh. Run, boy. Hello. Hello. Come on in. Thank you both look lovely. Yeah, I'm very well, thank you. Come on in. Hey. Nice to see you. Cheers. Oh, cheers. Round two. Round. Completing the group, it's Tony and Rebecca. Hello! Hello. Oh, that was oh, oh, careful! Oh. We, we can do this around the bowl if you want. <laughs> there you go. Sorry, can yeah. I take your coat? Yes, you yeah. I am. Are so we having a boot sale, sir? <laughs> no, no, he started early. Yeah. Yeah. Nice to see you all again. Cheers! Yeah. Cheers! Nice to see you all again. Coming up, table mistakes. That was nice, that was. Well done. There was no salt and pepper on the table. Yeah, really. I've got another one as well. Go on then. No serviettes. You guys are converting me around this table. And deluded guests. Yeah, I hate them, but I actually just dislike it a little bit now. <laughs> I think it's fair to say we, again, tonight, have been the funniest kids on the block. It's night two in southwest London, where Penny and Tom are following their lists to the letter in an attempt to beat two other couples to the £1,000 prize. Guests in, next thing to tick off is the starter. Penny adds avocado to the spring onion and mustard dressing. That's good. Do you need bowls or anything? Uh, bowls are out already. Done. It was on the list. Maybe that little bit on that one. And it's ready to go. Spring onion and avocado salad with crispy bacon, courtesy of Tom. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That does look nice. Yum. Mm. How's everyone enjoying the food? Do you like starter? It's a load of crap. I take it you're joking. <laughs> what is this green stuff? <laughs> I thought you were raining it back. <laughs> Bacon's lovely. Mm. Yes. Mm. I'll say that. The bacon was your contribution then, Tom. Yeah, that, this was, yeah, that was my bit. That was all I really had to do. <laughs> so, um, Is it not? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was knackered. It's very clear tonight Tom has cooked the bacon. Hero. <laughs> so it's a tough job, but someone's got to do it. <laughs> I'm sensing sarcasm here. This not? is the first spring onions I've eaten yeah, definitely. possibly in my life. Mm. No. Really? And the verdict? That was nice, that was. Well done. Yeah. And the proof yeah. is, it's all gone. Yeah. 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 Every single plate was empty, so I'm quite happy. Can I just say something? What? <laughs> there was no salt and pepper on the table. Yeah, yeah really. I've got another one as well. Go on, then. No serviettes. <sighs> yes. No! Yes! God. No, no serviettes. I can't, I can't, I'm going to faint. <laughs> Back at the table, and takes control of the conversation. You can really tell who's in charge. Can you? Of your relationships. Really? Can you really? Yeah, really? you girls are definitely oh, in charge. Really? <laughs> I think I need some tips from you, Yeah. 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 No, and you've just made me the happiest person alive. So, I'm, not, I'm, I'm content. I'm done. Yeah, Tom, Tom looks happy as well. <laughs> to be honest, I know it's true, so I'm just like... <laughs> Yeah. I think Penny really liked that when I said that she was in control. Yeah. <laughs> poor Tom. Whatever Penny says, Tom does. And things are no different with the main, as Penny has instructed Tom to carve the meat. 
I'm feeling pretty useless, but I know I've got to do use this to cut this. That's a good start. You want nice thin slices? Yes. So that we can lay it out. Nice thin slices. I've never felt so much pressure in my life. I don't know how you cut this out expertly either, to be honest. Not like that. Don't put that on the plate. No, I'm just trying to. I think I've just given up. <laughs> It's just too late now, um, so there's not much that we can do, really. There's loads. Yeah, there's loads. It just looks it's like great. someone's thrown it up. And that wasn't on the list. Penny to the rescue. Ooh. Oh, God, that's just something come Michelin star, isn't it? It's a miracle. Slow-cooked lamb carved by Tom and rescued by Penny. Ladies Penny first. Oh, so, God. lamb, two nights on the mm. trot. I know. Yeah. It's a lamb off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> This is a completely different meal mm. than ours. Just because it's lamb, it doesn't mean it's, it's not being yeah. cooked the same. Yeah, yeah. It's totally we, different. Yeah, we've done very different mm. meals. We've done well. Mm. <laughs> she cooked it well. Flavour was there. And the vegetables the were vegetables nice. The vegetables were well done. Yeah. Enjoyed it. Yeah. Oh, that was good. great. Yeah. Mint's supposed I to you, sort I out. I think you guys are converting me around this table. Well done, Tony. Properly sincere. Yeah, I hate lamb, but I actually just dislike it a little bit now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe not. <laughs> I really, really like Tony and Bex. I feel like I get on with them very, very well. I don't know what it is, but I feel like I've connected more with Ronan and Anne for whatever reason. Yeah, I wonder what the reason is. Any people have any misconceptions about you? When people first look at me, they just go, oh, here we go, you're average dumb blonde. That's, mm. that's what people do, and no, I've been told quite... that quite a lot. What do you say, I'm not mm. average? No. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight, um, I found Tony has relaxed a lot more, and I think underneath all that, He's a really nice man, yeah, isn't he's he? He's genuine. He's a genuine, I think. I think he's genuine. Yeah. Oh, he's for real, all right, and nobody seems to mind. I think it's fair to say we, again, tonight, have been the funniest kids on the block. Hands down. Well, there is another funny kid on the block, you know. <laughs> Say something funny, Tom. <laughs> Penny, um... Likes to look at how glamorous oh, she is. No, one please of her, don't do this. One of her favourite things is to take a picture of her poo. What? And he's one of my when, she, yeah, when she's proud of it, to you send it on to uh, me. No, is this a thing? Do you do that as well? I love taking photos of my poo. Not you as well. We've missed out here. Yeah, I know. It's a generational gap. You can have a look tomorrow. I thought the gap was sort of like this. Yeah, I think it's a lot more. I'm with you guys. Not something I'd photograph, but there you go. No, exactly. Because I can't work the camera on my phone anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a lot more whoopee to come. The pies. Penny fills the sponges with a marshmallow, butter and icing sugar mix. That's a heart attack in a yeah. chocolate sandwich there. You can't go wrong with chocolate and marshmallow, can you really? There's only one way to find out. Chocolate and vanilla whoopee pie. Do we need a spoon? No, you, you can, can use it your hand, like. you can do whatever you like. Go for it. Go for it. Oh, now you're right. an Australian at home, aren't you? Look at that. Yeah. Well, that cream's nice. That's good. That's good. Did yeah. you make the cream? Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, well done. Yeah. So, Roland, tell me, when you and Anne met, did you have a chat up line that you used? I, I, it was such a long time ago. <laughs> I can't remember. We've always got that excuse. I'm all about yourself. Well, I said to her, basically, what side of the bed are you going to wake up in the morning? <laughs> And what woman could resist that? Taxi! Pudding. Completely yeah. different yeah. to what I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it's right in my teeth, but it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody cleared their plate for every yeah. single course, so actually, I think we've got a good chance. Tonight, I'm going to give them seven. And it's a seven from me, too. So, so together, together is 14. 14. No serviettes, unfortunately, so my score's going to be an eight. But I had a really great evening, and I will also give them an eight, which together comes as a 16. So Penny has taken charge with a little help from Tom, and on 30 points, they're now top of the leaderboard. It's the final day of the competition and the turn of fun-loving Tony and Rebecca to march ahead with their menu. Turn, tap! And together they've hatched a crazy plan to claim the cash. I think uh, once the other guys get a look at our menu, they I don't think they'll be surprised. It's a little bit wacky and I think that's precisely what they expected from us. Yeah, who cooks in a hat like that? I think they'll be upset because there's no lamb involved. <laughs> Stop bleating! I am expecting food to come out smoking and this huge show. And they better be dressed up. 
They'd better be dressed up. <laughs> oh, don't worry, the fun has already begun. Tonight is going to be a revelation, I think. <laughs> In one way or another. <laughs> yep, looking at dessert, it certainly is. Chocolate brownie tower bridge. To make the put. Oh, they're gone. What are you doing? Oh, I get it. Very good. Brownies here. So each of the, uh, the towers are made of stuff of chocolate brownies, right? I think we could um, turn that into a bit of a masterpiece, actually. Some... More than it is already. <laughs> Well, maybe in a chocolate brownie sort of a way. You're going to put a nice smiley cloud on it, too. Ah, there it is. Perfect. I think we're done. Let's get back to the back cave. That is a work of art. <laughs> Isn't it? I'll tell you what. That's they, a challenge. They're really clever if they pull this off. Yeah. Have they actually made a tower bridge out of chocolate brownies? That's the plan. Hard hats back on. Work begins on the brownie bricks, adding sugar to butter and whisking. We want four eggs, but we want to put them in slowly. I know what he's going to do. Like this, mate. <laughs> you can set your watch by him. They combine eggs, flour, and melted chocolate, then trowel it out. You want it 160? Okay. 160? 200? What is it? I think we do it at roughly. Bigger number. Any number. 170. That'll do. Brownies baking, they move on to the brandy snap draw bridges, combining sugar, butter, and syrup. It's been a bit of a stir. Get on with it. They add flour and ginger. I'm not sure about Tom. Is that stone enough? <laughs> I think that's quite enough. With the mixture ready to bake, it's on to the filling. No, oh, no, silly me. <laughs> We're the winners. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get carried away. Come on, back to work. To whipped cream, Tony and Rebecca add melted chocolate. They'll use it to cement their towers together tonight. Time to hop on to the main. Roo Britannia! Kangaroo fillet with British Isles mesh. It's definitely not lamb, is it? <laughs> That's lamb on steroids. It's a kangaroo. <laughs> As butchers, we've never ever eaten kangaroo. Tonight's the night! I don't think our guests will turn their noses up at eating kangaroo, you know. I think they're all pretty open minded when it comes to food, so, you know, they seem like. Roo knows. It's either Fuck. going to be. The best meal we've had. Yes. Or it's going to be the funniest, the funniest meal we've had. There's only one way to find out. With the meat and mash to be cooked this evening, there's just the starter left to tackle. Scotch egg rugby balls served on a green pea pitch. <laughs> oh my days. <laughs> They've been dark horses, you know. If it's not the exact shape and diameter and width of a, <laughs> of a rugby ball, Penny's going to be on them. Um, <laughs> We thought we'd have a little bit of fun. It reflects our love of sport and rugby and that yep. sort of thing. We've basically got Scotch eggs that don't have eggs in the middle. Well, it's different. Tony and Rebecca kick off with the mixture for the balls, frying up vegetables with bacon, then stuffing it into peppers. After a quick roast, they're covered with a potato and crab mix. Just sort of fondle that a little bit. That's what you do best. Hey, for now, for now. Tony, your jokes are wearing thin now. Yep. Goes my hair in. Sure, he won't give up, will he? The balls are coated in breadcrumbs and deep fried. With the pitch to be constructed tonight, Tony and Rebecca are honing their master plan. Tonight, we're going to make sure everyone has a great fun night. We will have participation, be compulsory, no quiet ones around the table. Let's get everyone involved. Let's go out on a high. First in, it's current leaders Penny and Tom. Brace yourselves! <laughs> Oh, it's not as bad as I thought. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a minute, though, they haven't finished. <laughs> Let's go. Where are you taking them? Come on, Tom, we'll have some drinks. <laughs> Tom? Oh, yeah. oh, it's my colour. <laughs> Amazing. Ah, silly hats and wigs. <laughs> Brilliant welcome from when we arrived. So energetic, wasn't it? It was like, bang! <laughs> I hope you two are ready for this. <laughs> and here we go. Whack it on the love. Here we go, Sheriff. Well, guys, look, here's to a yeah, great cheers, night. Cheers. 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 Have fun. Let's get this night started. How about a kangaroo? Oh, do we have to? Coming up, wacky races. I wonder if that's the London Marathon. Yeah, it looks like it, doesn't it? And did they run it together as well? Chained up? Getting handcuffed for 26 miles is worse than 40 years of marriage. 
And a sprint to the finish. And in second place. Ooh. It's the final night in Southwest London where fancy dress enthusiasts Tony and Rebecca are hoping their focus on fun, fun, fun will grab them the grand. They I absolutely I they embrace the fancy dress. I love that. Yeah. Well, they're very polite couples. We're fighting strong and uh, we're ready for battle, aren't we? I forgot for a moment we were still cooking. Can't we just party? Well, better just cook. With the starters underway, Penny and Anne have a wander. I wonder if that's the London Marathon. Yeah, it looks like it, doesn't it? Wow, amazing. The yeah. hot nodding! And did they run it together as well? Chained up? It's going to be a mad, crazy yeah. night. <laughs> yeah. It is as long as they can assemble their starter. So, Rebecca begins by building the asparagus goalposts. Pierce the cucumber. Ah, oh, the asparagus, look at that. They work. Can we have a goalpost, my friend? Oh, Just darling. First well one off the ring. It's up all right. Next, it's the green pea pitch. The pitch is down. All eyes now turn to the crab meat balls. He's adding some stitching. Oh, but it's a triumph. Crab meat, scotch eggs completed. Oh, hello, they swapped hats. That's Oh, and it's ruined now. So we have a, a bed of um, puree peas, OK? So that's yeah. the turf. I hope you can get yeah. the idea yeah. here. They're just about getting it. That big lump sitting on top of your peas. Yeah. It's me. Um, it's me. That's not what at all about me. It's <laughs> a scotch egg with a difference. So yeah. if you cut through it, you'll probably find that actually there's no egg in there at all. Is it a pepper? It's a pepper. It is. Wow. It's a roasted oh, stuffed yeah. pepper. Gold star for Penny. All right, Tom. Very fiddly job to do, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the starter was really yeah. nice because yeah. I love crab anyway, mm. so. Spot on. Mm. Really yeah. nice. It was nice. The menu just sums you guys up like brilliant. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Like, really that's great. Nice. Anyway. It, it was so you, but, that um, menu. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we yeah. like to be predictable. <laughs> <laughs> I think our starters went down really well. Yeah, I know. I mean, they're impressing yeah. our creativity. Mm. I think we've laid the foundations for a good win here. I think we're still well up there with a chance. I saw a picture of you both, once again, fancy dress hats out in the front hall as you come in. Did you run the marathon together? Yeah, we did. Yeah, in those handcuffs that we was in. Did we you really? Yeah. 26 what? miles in handcuffs, yeah. That marathon was Tony's seventh. He doesn't what? look like a runner. Oh, my God. But this guy wow. can run. The yeah. It was my first. But it was my round. <laughs> I think someone should tell him to stop now. Anyone? No. To run it together, to be attached for five hours doing that, I'd knock him out, so... <laughs> Good She's not even lying. No, no. <laughs> Getting handcuffed for 26 miles is worse than 40 years of marriage. Worse? It's harder, not worse, harder. Well, that depends who you're handcuffed to. With the starter going down well, it's on to the main. A fusion of British and Aussie cuisine called Roo Britannia. Tony pan fries the kangaroo. That is actually really nice. Yes, are you keeping those glasses on all night? As the meat finishes off in the oven, it's on to the mash. We're going to try to replicate some uh, British Isles mash on each plate. Never used this thing before. What, the spoon? Let's just get it in there. It might look amazing. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> yes! Look quick, at that. Well, quick, that's quick, hurry up! Boom. And the main is served. Can you refill it with British Isles mash? Well, British Isle. <laughs> Yet? No, fine. British Isles there. British Isle. Nice, <laughs> nice. So, how did you cook it? Did you put it in the oven? Braise it? We put it, um, so we we sort of did a flash fry in the pan oh, yeah. right. for a couple of minutes on each side and then put it. it in the oven. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah just, just to finish cook off. through. Mm. It's really good. I'm enjoying it. Mm. Really nice. I couldn't help feel guilty every time I ate that kangaroo because we met some recently and they were really cute. But my God, it tasted good. <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't feel that guilty about it? I think we absolutely nailed that one. I enjoyed the experience, I reckon. Well, it's the first time I've eaten it, so yeah. Really? That was a reward. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You reckon you sell it in your shop now? No. <laughs> ah. So how was your day in the kitchen? How did you get on together? Did it work? Did you great, get stressed? Great, yeah, great. No, great fun. Uh, it was good. So you, you enjoyed well. it. Yeah. Joke alert! Yeah, I'll go in there again next year. <laughs> <laughs> and there's the all clear. <laughs> no, in general, we yeah we get on really well. But I mean, every, everyone has a few annoying habits, course, you know. Yeah. You know what this party needs? A didgeridoo. So we've got a didgeridoo lying around. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. I thought it might be fun if we all had Where's a little it? go. <laughs> Not sure the fake nose and glasses are going to help. I see no ships. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Sounds like a terrible fall. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that in Italian restaurant when they do the black pepper on your back? <laughs> Tony and Bex had so many gags and things up their sleeves. Yeah, little things tonight. going on little all the things. time, little occupational things. And that's they? what made the evening mm. fun. Mm. I think we've opened up their eyes a little bit, you know, to a, to a whole lot of things on a culinary and a cultural yeah. level. It certainly opened my eyes and my ears, unfortunately. <laughs> Anyway, we're going to clear the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> With the good times rolling, there's only dessert left to go. Amazing. Oh, we really want to go out with a bang, and so we either fail it or we nail it. With the pressure on, construction begins with the chocolate brownie towers. Let's look at the pictures that we drew. Tony, this is your... masterpiece. <laughs> Looking good. Looking good. All right, brilliant. For cement, Tony uses white chocolate ganache. It's delicate, isn't it? Maybe we should slice it in no, half. No, 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 because it's a whip for the bridge. I've done it deliberately, see? So it's a road size. Look, watch. Why? What? Watch and learn. Oh, it's the drawbridge. Made from brandy snaps. Genius. Brilliant. <laughs> oh, that's good. No, yeah, that's good, honey. That's good, because we've got the gap there. No one Stop actually Stop talking, just build, because oh, they're going to melt. Talking, all right. We should come from. On goes the chocolate walkway. I think it's a lot better than the picture, to be fair. How are you going to do the smiley cloud? It's absolutely uncanny how much it looks like Tower Bridge. Oh, yes, uncanny. And the masterpiece is complete. Chocolate Tower Bridge. Yeah. Just take whatever you need. Well, oh, this is quite a nice way to finish <laughs> the evening to share a dessert. Look, it's like honestly, a relationship. Amazing. They're all good foundation. Yeah. Yeah. Was this... Uh, like the pinnacle of your menu for us, it was going to be the uh, the make or break. Mm. This is amazing. Mm, thank you. Yeah, it's lovely as well. Done well. This is truly <laughs> amazing. I just have to say, I just loved that dessert so mm. much. It was yeah. so nice. I liked it. I liked it. I didn't think it was the best thing that they've served in the evening. Controversial. Time for Tony and Bex to bring it home with a big, pointless party game. I give you a scenario, I give you a situation. So yep, with you. We count to three. Right. And then we sort of get a freeze frame of you in that scenario, okay. in the okay. moment. Yeah, right. Got it? Yeah. Yes. Life jacket, and you're on the plane, and it's, it's going, going down. down. One, two, three, go! Oh, that's very good. Your foot has gone into dog poo. How do you look? One, two, three! <laughs> Freeze, man! Freeze! <laughs> he's wearing one of his best suits, but he's still carrying a dog poo <laughs> bag in his pocket. Why is it in his pocket? <laughs> I've got one in every pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, you mean? you're about to give birth. Bex, you're the delivery partner. Are you ready? One, two, three, go! <laughs> That's the birthing plan out the window. So, have the madcap couple done enough to land the ground? We expect to win after that performance, I reckon. We put in a heavyweight championship of the world title performance there, I reckon, and we won our gold medal. If we win, I think we'll be ecstatic, won't we, really? Tony Politely did... ecstatic tonight, obviously, but in the cab home. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> so, Tony and Rebecca need 31 points or more to win. Tonight, tonight we're giving, giving Tony, Tony and Bex a... Yes. 15. Fifteen. Right. We're going to give Tony and Bex a... Hold it! It's over to the host to reveal the results. <laughs> Just how many wigs do you have? Come on! Let's go! Oh. <laughs> OK, in third place, Roland and Elle! Oh, it's terrible result. <laughs> And in second place... Ooh. Oh, my God! Joint first! Tony and Bex oh! and Roland and Anne gave Tony and Bex a 15, meaning they tie on 30. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Yay! Yeah. Well done. <laughs> done good. Done good. <laughs> it's been great. Yeah, it's been really good it. fun tonight. Yeah. Really good fun. Yeah. Now we're going to bed. Yeah. He yeah. wants to go home to bed. Don't you want to take your hats with you? Right. 
to take part in couples, come dive with me. Go to the Channel 4 website. Thank <laughs> you. We slapped Skippy on their plate. We built them Tower Bridge. I mean, what more does a couple have to do to win the flipping first prize? Well, maybe not wear silly hats. Neon wigs. Outsized glasses. Are you just a man Back to guide you through a property market that's changing faster than ever. Kirsty and Phil hold your hand in a new series of Location, 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 tonight at 8 o'clock. The next here on 4, meet Monty Burns Jr. in The Simpsons.